Hello, my name is Luana. And my name is Sebastian. And we are Dog Spotters. And today we're talking with Shelley Silva. She produced the film Girls Museum, where young people were asked from 7 up to 19 years about their interpretation of artwork in the Museum of Fine Arts in Leipzig. Yeah, Shelley, you can start. Hello, at first. <laughs> It's so nice uh, that you've invited me to talk to you. Uh, the same for us. We wanted to generally ask you, where are you right now and how are you today? I am sitting in my dining room in New York City, even though it doesn't look like that. Um, it's raining out. It's the real beginning of the start of fall. So it's quite chilly and I'm otherwise fine. I'm very happy to be somehow in Leipzig with you. And that already leads me to the next question. What is your personal connection to Leipzig, to Doc Leipzig? Um, and how does it feel to not be here in Leipzig with us that now that your film is shown first here? My first time coming to Leipzig was in 1997 uh, with my film 37 Stories About Leaving Home, which was about um, a group of mothers, grandmothers and daughters living in the Tokyo area. Um, and it was lucky enough, I was lucky enough to win the Golden Dove that year. So my first um, entry into Leipzig and Doc Leipzig was really very wonderful. I would say that Leipzig looked a lot different as a city than it looks now. So I felt privileged to see it then and see it now. And then over the years, I've been to Doc Leipzig quite a bit. I, twice I was on different juries and I've had my films there often and I just love Doc Leipzig and I think Leipzig is an amazing city. I'm really sad, of course, because this is the world premiere and I chose Leipzig to have the world premiere because it was filmed in Leipzig and so many of the people in the film or who worked on the film are from Leipzig. And so, of course, I'm very sad not to be there today. Um, so we're uh, going into the film questions. How did you come around doing Girls Museum and can you tell us how your process for this film was? It was really a kind of coincidence. I was there at Doc Leipzig for the festival and the hospitality section is usually on the ground floor of the museum. And I had realized like, what is this building I'm in? And I have a few minutes and I could go upstairs and see what's inside. And then I ended up sp spending hours in the museum and um, kind of transfixed by objects that didn't move as opposed to what I had been doing all my days watching the moving image and also how it was curated. So not only the paintings that were in the galleries, but how they talk to each other. And there was one gallery, which I spend a lot of time in, in the film, which had a lot of images of women in um, certain circumstances. One was a dancer from behind tying her shoe. Another one was another woman from behind naked, um, taking her, putting her clothes on or taking them off in an artist studio. And all of these women made me think about this, um, like what are the paintings we look, about, look at in museums? And my first thought was, what would I have made of this room if I was 14? What would my view of it been? And of course that's impossible because I'm not 14 anymore and I can't go back in time. So that was like my first little idea. What if I brought girls into the museum, into this gallery and asked them? And how did you choose your protagonists and why did you decide to only speak with children and teenagers? I really felt like what was missing in the museum was a girl's and a woman's point of view. Uh, and it was, I couldn't go to the museum director or curator and say, well, you should put more um, images by women and girls into the museum and probably they don't have so many of them in their collection, especially the historical part, because no museum really does at this point. And so I thought, how can you balance, start to balance the situation? And that was by bringing um, 
the expertise, the point of view of these girls. And how did you feel about the different ways the protagonists were able to express themselves? You never know before you do an interview what's going to happen. And I've been doing uh, interview films for a very long time. And I, I was so impressed by really the first question by how the girls stood in front of the camera, how they answered the questions, how serious, how direct, how thoughtful they were and how they really occupied a space that's very difficult even for me to occupy, even though I've been doing this from both sides of the camera for a very long time. So I would say I, I was really impressed. So when doing the filming in the museum, there was of course the risk that your questions would already lead into a certain direction or a certain opinion maybe even. Do you think you managed to ask non-suggestive questions that wouldn't lead the girls into a certain direction already? I wasn't looking to educate girls. I wasn't interested in my point of view that had nothing to do with the film. I wanted to hear what they thought. And we talked about this a lot, what kind of questions would bring that out. And we tried to ask the most open-ended, non-leading questions. And uh, were there any um, specific answers that really stuck with you? One answer that came up several times, which in fact wasn't an answer, but was a question which sort of um, sums up my idea of the film is why is it like that? that you have to ask yourself why it's like that. And that's really what I ask myself and what I'd like the viewers to ask themselves. Why is it like that? Which invariably leads to another many questions, but a question, how can we change that? Should we change it? And if so, how can we change it? Looking at the, the whole film itself again, um, was there a reaction from the museum to the film? Do you know of, of a um, reaction from them? And if yes, what was the reaction? I have to give the museum a huge amount of credit for um, giving me access to their galleries, their artwork, and the discussions that I had at the beginning were um, about this issue that they don't know what I'm going to film, they don't know what I'm going to find, and they were absolutely okay with that. As of now, I don't know anyone except for Anna Marie Riemer who, from the museum who has seen the film. I do hope that they like it, they find it useful, and they also find it respectful of their amazing collection. The last question was a bit like, do you have an idea how museums could deal better with the issue of gender? I think it's really important day to day to bring in a more diverse staff from the director, the board of governors, uh, to the curators, to the people collecting all across the board to um, reflect the demographic that you're hoping to achieve in terms of the artwork, but also in terms of the people coming there. So that would be more the day-to-day. -day. Uh, the second thing is how to really reimagine a museum as a more possibly open, vital place where different people have um, an expertise. Uh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> So this was our interview with Shelley Silver. Um, thanks for watching.